Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial of Math Level Manager. Ever since version 2.2.0 came out, you can use new animation system, I am going to show you in a minute. The old animation system is still available and you can use it, but it has just become deprecated and it won't be maintained. New animation system is much more intuitive and it can add more juiciness to your level select screen. Here is my level select screen. I haven't added any animations yet, so let's do it together. The main part is the animator, where you can set all animations and basic options. Select your icon. Use Tools, Mat Level Manager, Animations, Add Animator. Depending on the type of game object you want to animate, Mat Level Manager will choose the right animator script. Mat level animator for game object with mat level icon component or mat animator for mat sprite component. The difference is in capabilities. You can do more with level icon than with regular sprite. In my case it'll be mat level animator. As you can see in the inspector we have all animation events you know from the previous version of mat level manager. You'll see the difference when you look deeper. I'll choose on focus event and take a peek at what we have here. In play animations we can add animations to play on event start. You can also choose which animations you want to stop or you can even stop all the animations. As you see we don't have any animations created so I'll create a few now. I want my unlocked levels to bounce a little so I'll add a new animation to move them. From tools, mat level manager, animations, choose add move animation. It'll be at the bottom of Icon Inspector. I'll call it Unlocked. I want them to move from its origin position, which is a position of the object when a scene is launched. In To field, I'll choose Local Origin Add. This means that our icons will move from their origin position plus given value equal, for example, minus 15. I want this animation to last for 2 seconds and let's delay it for 1.2 seconds. Choose Is in Out Cubic to make the animation smoother. I also want to loop this bouncing effect I have in mind and choose Ping Pong as Wrap Mode. Let's see how it works. Let's go further and add some other animations that will make our level select screen look stunning. I'll make an animation where every icon is sliding up on the screen at start. Sounds cool? I'm sure it does. Create new animation by choosing from Tools, Mat Level Manager, Animations and Add Move Animation. Rename it to Start Move. When it comes to animation names, it's not important how you will name your animations. These names are for your sole purpose and later recognition only. But if you set the same name for more than one animation, it all will be treated as one. In that way, you can create one animation that moves, scales or rotates at once. I won't be showing you this kind of configuration here as it's only for your information. Let's back to our setup. To create our slide-in animation, our icons should move from current position to origin position. Remember, origin position is the position of object set in the editor. Delay it for about 0.5 seconds and play it on awake. Let's take a look at the bottom of our mat level animator inspector at the startup properties section. Current position we want to set can be set here. Let's add position and change Y to minus 600. Minus 600 will place our icons below the visible area. This value may vary between user configurations. Please refer to the multi-resolution support section in the documentation for more info. I'll launch our scene now and just watch what happens. It looks quite good for me, but I won't stop here. I was thinking about adding some rotation when the icons are appearing. Let's do it now. Use Tools, Mat Level Manager, Animations, Add Rotate Animation. Name it Start Rotate. 
To make this effect work properly, I'll start from origin add. This will affect icons rotating from 45 degrees to current Y equal 0. I'll set duration to 2 and delay to 0 0.5. In my case, this value of delay would affect the whole rotation animation. We'll play this animation once and on the scene launch. Let's see how it works. Perfect! Ok, we have our startup animations set. Now it's time to tweak them a little and add some animations for focusing on levels. Let's take a look at our mat level icon inspector. Down here you can see the modifiers section where you can set the delay and offset for your animations. I want to slightly delay our start move and unlocked animations. I want all the icons to have a little different offset, so I will choose Grid Level Page Index. It will use the icon number as a parameter in offset calculation starting from 0 on the current page. Most probably you don't understand any of this, so please check out the documentation later, where you can find calculation examples. I will show you how a different option changes the behavior of our animation. I'll choose Grid Row Expression and multiply by 0 0.1. Let's see what happened. See? Every row is moving separately, one by one, up and down. That's because grid row evaluates to 0, 1, and 2, depending on the row icon. Now I'll change type of left side of my expression to grid level page index. Play. Do you see the difference? Every icon hops one after another. It looks just the way I thought it would be. Perfect. Ok, now's the time to add animations when focusing on icons. In your mat level animator, search for on focus event. You can add here animations choosing from those you have created. I want my icon to grow a little, but I don't have this animation on my list. I'll create a new one. It has to be a scale animation. And I'll name it just Grow. It should grow from current to value. I want it to grow to these values. It's almost ready. The last animation is to shrink icon when focus is lost. Create new one. Name it shrink. And type here one, one, one. To go back to the original size of our icon. Add this animation to on focus lost. This isn't ready yet. After it shrinks, we want it to bounce like before. Add next animation and choose unlocked. Play it and see how much juiciness we've added to our level select screen. I hope you've enjoyed it and you'll create your own level select screens animated in a cool way. Cheers!